What is the name of this compound? Hmm, if you're not sure, stay tuned. Hydrocarbons that consist of a single bonded carbon and hydrogen atoms are called alkanes. In this video, we will show you how to name alkane compounds. Be sure to take a mini quiz at the end of this video. Alkanes are named by the number of carbons in the chain. Depending on how many carbons it contains, different prefixes are used. With one carbon, meth. With two carbons, eth. With three carbons, prop. With four carbons, but. With five carbons, pent. With six carbons, hex. With seven carbons, hep. With eight carbons, oct. With nine carbons, non. And finally, with ten carbons, dec. Then we add a suffix ain as in alkane at the end. Therefore, alkane with two carbons is called ethane or ethane. Alkane with five carbons is called pentane and etc. If you noticed already, the formulas and structures of these alkanes increase uniformly by a CH2 increment. Now there is a simple list of rules on how to name alkanes. Rule number one, identify the longest carbon chain. This chain is called the parent chain. Rule number two, identify all of the substituents, groups appending from the parent chain. The substituents are named by replacing the suffix "-ane with "-il". So propane substituent is called propel, and methane substituent is called methyl. Rule number three, number the carbons of the parent chain starting from the end that is the closest to a substituent group. In this case, the substituents are attached to third and the fifth carbons. Rule number four, assemble the name by listing substituents in alphabetical order using the base name. This particular compound is called 3-methyl-5-propyloctane. Please note, if the same substituent occurs more than once, specify the location of each substituent. Also, the number of the same substituent group is indicated by adding a prefix such as di, tri, tetra, etc. This compound is called 3 4 dimethylheptane. Rule number five, if the compound is a cyclic hydrocarbon, please add prefix cyclo in front of the base name. This compound is called cyclohexane. Now, are you ready to name some alkane compounds? Action. Question one, what is the name of this compound? You can pause the video if you need more time. The longest chain, or the parent chain, has six carbons. There are two substituents, ethyl on the carbon number four, and methyl on carbon number two. This compound is called 4 ethyl 2-methylhexane. Question 2. This is a cyclic hydrocarbon consisting of three carbons with a methyl substituent. This is methyl cyclopropane. Question 3. The parent chain has seven carbons. There are two methyl substituents on the carbon number three and one ethyl substituent on carbon number four. This compound is 4-ethyl-3-3-dimethylheptane. Question four.
this is a tricky one. The parent chain has seven carbons, and there are three methyl substituents on carbon number two, three, and five. Also, there is one propyl substituent on carbon number four. This compound is 2,3,5-trimethyl-4-propyl-heptane. Finally, question five. The parent chain has six carbons. There are one methyl substituent on the carbon number four and one ethyl substituent on carbon number three. This compound is 3-ethyl-4-methylhexane. So, how did you do? Were they hard, easy, or okay for you? Leave your comments below. Well, that's it for today. If you found this video useful, please subscribe and give a like. Thank you for watching.